Hi guys, summer is coming and the weather is kinda hot right now and you don't want to come home to a miserably warm house after a long day of work. And nobody likes sweating through the heat while they wait for their house to cool down. One easy solution is to use a smart IR remote such as this Tuya Wi-Fi IR controller which allows you to cool your home at a designated time. This device can store a number of daily settings which are activated on a preset schedule allowing your air conditioner to turn on and off automatically. This means that you can set your AC to start 30 minutes to an hour before you get home so that by the time you arrive your house will be nice and cool. You'll never be able to tell that your air conditioner was turned off while you were away. And this smart IR remote control can be control your other appliances with your smartphone or via voice command like TV, DVD, projector or this non-smart aroma diffuser. Since it has an IR remote control, I can make it smart that I will show you later in this video. So stay tuned. Hi guys, I'm Ray and welcome to Ray's Tech, where I will help you to build a budget-friendly smart home. Every week, I will upload a new video about smart home tips, tutorial, and home automation ideas. So if you are interested, consider subscribing. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about this Wi-Fi IR controller. So without further ado, let's get started now let's do the unboxing and set up this device as always let's look at the packaging first here you will see the picture of the smart wi-fi ir controller as you can see in the box it works with google and alexa so instead of using the remote or let's say you cannot find your remote you can just ask your voice assistant to turn on and off your tv or air conditioner again here is the name of this device wi-fi smart ir controller I got it from Lazada and shifted from China. So if you want to get one of these, I will put the link where I bought this in the description below. And an alternative for other countries. Going here, it has a QR code for, for you to scan and download the app. Or you can also install it from App Store or Google Play Store. Again, the picture and the name of the device and over here are some features of this Wi-Fi Smart IR controller. This device can imitate the different remote signals either by copying or by loading a remote pre-configured for a specific brand which is available on the application cloud server. The main function of this device is to be able to control these appliances from the smartphone application remotely or anywhere in the world as long as you have internet connection, either Wi-Fi or mobile data. Now let's open the box. So the device is wrapped in plastic and in the box it has a USB cable which can be used to power your device using your computer, charger or power bank. In the box you will see the user manual which tells us everything about the device. Now let's take a look at the smart Wi-Fi remote control itself. It is an all black, quite compact, slim design and it is very lightweight. The top is plain black and a little bit transparent that almost sees the inside and also we can see the LED indicator once we turn this device on. Here on the side you will see the USB port where we connect the USB cable to power up the device. At the back we can see the reset button and this black rubber thing which is used to hold the device on a flat surface so that it won't slide easily. This device is multi-directional infrared distance of maximum of 8 meters from the appliances in the same room. And there shouldn't be any obstacles that can block the signal between the smart IR control. It's pretty easy to set up this smart IR controller. First, connect the device to the power source while ensuring that your phone is connected to the 2.4 GHz band Wi-Fi. Then, open the Smart Life app. Again, if you don't have the app yet, please go to your App Store or Google Play Store on your phone, search for Smart Life, and install it. If you're, if you're downloading and using the app for the first time, you have to register then log into your account. On the app, press the plus sign icon on the upper right corner. Go to the other options here and select Infrared Universal Remote Control so that you can connect your IR remote to your account. 
and connect your home Wi-Fi. Now what you have to do is to get your device and press the reset button for more than 5 seconds until the light indicator is blinking rapidly. When the device is ready to be added, just press confirm indicator rapidly blinking and wait for it to connect. Now it's done pairing. Here you can change the name of the device. I will name it Living Room Smart Remote. Then you can select a room where you are going to place this device and click done. Let's start adding devices. Once you're connected, you're ready to start pairing with your non-smart devices so to start, click the plus to add a device and select the type of device you're adding. I'm gonna be connecting our sharp air conditioner. Now in order for the remote to know which IR signal to send into your device, it's going to have a number of stored pre-configured remote. At least three of the buttons should work on your device before selecting. So it's really important to make sure that all the buttons work on your device. I think I got pretty lucky and I hit the right remote at the first try, but it might take you a bit longer. So once you found the remote that works with your air conditioner, just tap select this one that saves the remote with the air conditioner in your smartphone. So this is where you can start adding more devices. I'm going to connect my TV. Again, you go through the same process. Try a bunch of remotes until you find one that works. However, in this case, I cannot find the brand of my television here. But not to worry, return to the DIY section and look for DIY. Press that, choose the device type which is TV, then press other since I cannot find the brand of my TV. Here you can learn each button individually using the remote by pointing it and pressing the button straight at the IR blaster. It will detect the signal and you can simply enter in what the signal is. Once you've set up all the controls for this remote, just click save and it will appear back in your menu. So the final device that I want to set up is our aroma diffuser. Just select the DIY, then select the custom type. Again, learn each button individually using the remote by pointing it and pressing the button straight at the IR blaster, just like what we did earlier. Now that we've set up all our devices, we're ready to play around with the smart features of this device. Go back to the homepage of the Smart Life app and click Smart. From there, you can set up automation. Let's say you want to turn on your air conditioner to cool it down before you get home. For me, I get home around 5.30, so I want to turn on my air conditioner around 4.30 or 5 p.m. Then select which days this automation will run.
As you can see, I have set up different automation for this device already. To give you a few examples, my air conditioner will turn off at 3 in the morning. At the same time, my fan will turn on instead to save electricity. Now, we don't need to wake up to do that. So, it's pretty convenient because after you set it up, you don't need to think about it. And it really helps us to cut down the cost of our electricity bill after we bought this device. By the way, I use a smart plug on this fan to make it smart. And if you haven't watched my video about this smart plug, you can check out the link here or in the description below. And here is another automation. This allows the aroma diffuser to turn on when we get home. You can use your location on your phone or just like what we did. We use the contact sensor so when we open the door for the first time, it will not just turn on the lights for us. It will also turn on our aroma diffuser that makes our house smells good and by the way, I made a video also about this contact sensor. So you can check it out right here or in the description below. Now to control them using our voice via Google Assistant, we need to set them up on the Google Home app. All you have to do is to open your Google Home app and since I already have some Smart Life devices, I already connected the Smart Life app on the Google Home app. However, if it is your first time installing a Smart Life device, just tap the plus sign on top left. Tap set up device, tap works with Google and search for Smart Life app. After you sync the app, just press set up device and there it will find your device and you can add them to any rooms where you are going to place them in your house. So after you connect them on the Google Home app, you can now ask Google to turn on and off your appliances. But the DIY mode version of this cannot show up onto your Google Home app. In order for them to control via voice command, you have to create a tap to run automation on Smart Life app like what I did on our Aroma Diffuser. Google, turn on the Aroma Diffuser. Alright, turning on Aroma Diffuser. Now, should I recommend this device? Yes, of course. You have to get one of these Wi-Fi IR controllers, especially if you are into smart home. It is a must-have on your smart home. It is not only affordable, but also it can control most of your appliance in your house as long as it has an IR remote controller. What I like about this device is that I can save electricity by turning off my air conditioner in the middle of the night and turning on my electric fan instead. And it can turn your smartphone into a universal remote using the Smart Life app. It supports over 80,000 devices from popular brands in including Samsung, Sony, and Philips. Also, it works perfectly with Amazon Alexa the Google Assistant and Siri for hands-free voice commands. Use your voice to turn on and off the TV, air conditioner, or any other IR remote control device. Set your smart IR remote control to automatically operate to specific conditions like time, temperature, sunset, sunrise, and custom actions. You can even combine multiple smart home devices and control them with a single tap or voice command. The only problem that I have with this device is some of the appliance like my TV and aroma diffuser cannot recognize the on and off function. Like for example, I want to turn off all my devices using one command on my Google Home Mini. Hey Google, turn off everything. And my TV was turned off that time. The other appliance will turn off but the TV will turn on instead. This happens when the remote control shares the same button for on and off. But still, for its price, I still recommend this device and it is a good device to start your smart home journey. If you have any further questions about this Wi-Fi IR controller, just leave a comment down below and I will try to answer them. And if you are interested in building a budget-friendly smart home, check out this video up here where I talk about different smart devices you can get to start your smart home journey. And if you are not subscribed yet, consider subscribing by clicking my picture here down below because I'm gonna be uploading videos every week about tech reviews, 
unboxing tips and home automation ideas. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you on the next one. Peace.